loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Heather. My channel is called Beautifully Mixed Makeup. We're back, finally. I know it has been a hot minute since I have filmed and posted a video. Life, that's really my only excuse, is that life has been insane and I just have not had time. So, but I'm glad to be back and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And today we're kind of doing a full face of new makeup that I've recently purchased. Um, some of it I've played with a little bit and some of it I haven't. I'm going to do it first time on camera. But it's just a collection of both high-end and um, more drugstore that I have been getting my hands on lately and I really wanted to film this video. So here we go. The first thing I am trying on is the, this is from Touch and Soul. This is the No Problem Primer. So No Pore Problem Primer. Um... This is supposed to be smooth and pore covering, top secret for make perfect makeup. It is, um, yeah, we're going to test this out. I've actually been using this uh, for a couple days now, so I, mini hint on the review, I actually really enjoy it, but I'm going to do half my face with that and then half my face with my, the cult favorite, the Benefit Professional, which we all know is a great primer and one that I use almost religiously. So that's going to be the first thing. The next thing we're testing out is this new City Proof 10 Hour Matte Foundation. This is from New York Color or NYC. And yeah, it's supposed to be anti-shine. It's supposed to uh, natural finish up to 10 hours, lightweight formula, oil free, fragrance free, won't clog pores, and it's dermatologist tested. So this is super inexpensive. I think I bought it for less than $3. Um, at my local base exchange on the website it says that it is sold for $5.99 so still less than $10 how I mean you can buy this at Walmart Target but this is the new one and I have not tried this out at all this is the first time other than swatching it to match my color I have not played with this at all so it's brand new next I guess powder wise we're gonna use a old favorite new favorite I don't know a favorite of mine. I'm using two powders per use. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder in Invisible 10. You guys know I love this. And then I'm also testing out the Kat Von D Lock It Blotting Powder. I love this container. I just think it's so cute. Um, I've used this a couple times and so far I enjoy it, but I want to try it with this new matte foundation and see what we think about it. For brows, I am using, this came in a BoxyCharm two months ago. I think it was the BoxyCharm for May. I know. I'm behind, but this is the Brow Gal from Tony or Tanya Cooks, and it's just a trio of brow powders that we're going to test out. I think this shade all the way to the end is definitely going to work for me, so we're going to give that a go. And then, let me see, blush, I'm going to keep it simple and do something, probably use the Becca Sun Chaser Palette, which I use all the time. You guys know I love it. For mascara, we are working with the new Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. This stuff is, first of all, this container is super cute and I love that, but um, I wanted to give this a go and see how it worked out. This brush is very interesting. It's like a regular wand and then it tapers off and then it gets, it goes into like one of those little balls. So it's going to be interesting to test out. Give that a go. Then I think that that's about it. I'm going to do powder or highlight and shadow are going to be ones that I've already used for a long time. So this video isn't 18 years. And then we're going to finish off with the Glam Glow Glow Starter um, finishing spray to finish off my makeup. I do have one other thing from the NYC um, City Proof, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. City Proof Collection. That is these... City Proof, what are they? Hold on, let me make sure I say this correctly. This is the City Proof Matte Long Lasting Blur Lip Color. These are new. Um, they have probably 10 different colors. They're all pinks and mauves and purples, but I picked up five of them. I will swatch them for you so you guys can see them, and then I'm going to test one of them on my lips to see what I think. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to first try this. Touch and soul, no problem. I'm going to do this on the left side of my face. It's 
very, very smooth and silky, and it just kind of glides over the skin. I am also going to go up on my eye and down onto my neck. And then on my right side of my face, I'm going to use the Professional. The reason I'm using two different primers is because I want to really test the foundation. And if you use a brand new primer, you don't know, and something goes really well, you really don't know if it's the primer or if it was the foundation that made it really good. So that's why I'm using both the newer primer, which is the Touch and Soul, and then my favorite old primer, the... professional. Alright, so I am going to take a little bit more of this, of the touch and soul, and just kind of dip it onto my little problem area right there on my cheeks. Alright, perfect. So then this is, I'm in the shade Honey Beige. They didn't have a ton of shades. I think they have six total, so not a lot of range as far as um, foundation colors go. And, but I'm excited that this is matte. I do love matte lipstick. It's my Favorite, I'm going to use a clean, this is the Pure Beauty Blender-esque sponge, the Pure Sponge, I guess. I really, really like these. And here we go. So I'm going to say right off the bat that the coverage is not great. Um, this is probably more light coverage than I expected. I thought this was going to be a heavy duty kind of foundation, but I'm going to dry this down, my little fan, and then I'm going to go back in with a second layer and hopefully I can build it up a little bit. Okay, so, um, my kind of tell telltale sign of whether a foundation is really good on coverage is I have this mark right here on my cheek from it's an old acne scar and if my foundation covers that then I know that it's or at least hides it I know that it is a good coverage foundation it's kind of in my my I don't know my test my personal kind of test on foundation and I just am not sure that this is covering very well. I'm going to try to go back for a third layer. But that's quite a bit. I mean, I've put quite a bit on my sponge, so I'm a little worried about that. That it's so much makeup. The good thing is, though, I will say that it is very light. It doesn't really feel like I have makeup on my face, which I appreciate. Okay, so layer three definitely did something a little bit more here. So three layers, that's a lot. Um, again, it is drugstore makeup, so not terribly impressed, but I'm not, you know, if this was $30, $40 foundation, I would probably be more upset. But for $3 or $6, whatever, um, it's really not that bad so all right next let's go into brows I you guys know that I am NOT a big brow girl I don't spend 18 years on my brows I'm actually really simple when it comes to brows so this is the little brow gal um, brush that it came with on one side it has a spoolie and then on the other side it has the tapered brush so I'm gonna just run my brow spoolie through my brows and then I just like to fill in just my little oh yeah this is a good color sorry for all the clanging around Yoshi's in the closet behind the camera so she is exploring apparently so yeah I just fill in my little the pretty much the front part of my brow the inner corner of my brow just so that it's more even and then I just run some lines out to fill in. Really? Okay, so. And it's just really, really light strokes. That's the key is to do light and precise little strokes like you're doing individual hairs. 
and then I take my spoolie and I run up and out and up and out. That's it. So brows are really simple for me, but I do like this powder. It is, um, this color is kind of, um, is kind of misleading. It's darker on my brows than it is in the pan. So be aware of that. Then we're going to, I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to do my eyeshadow and then I'll come back and we'll do mascara and I'll do your lip swatches for the New York matte proof, city proof matte long lasting blur lipstick. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've added some highlights, some blush, some shadow on my eyes. Just so you know what I'm using, I used the Ofra Rodeo Drive for highlight. I used the Becca Sun Chaser Palette um, blush shade in Apricot Blossom. And then for my eyes, I used the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette. It is so good. It is these colors are like perfect for me every day what I want to use it has lots of browns lots of neutrals this shade right here hide and seek if you were my skin tone this is like the perfect and you want to do something neutral perfect transition shade it is gorgeous and beautiful and that's what I did today with this look it's just something simple a little dark brown and gray in the crease and then that hide and seek gray shade all over the lid so just really simple I didn't want to do anything too crazy because I am testing out mascara so that is what I'm going to go into next this is the lash renegade mascara from wet n wild and it's supposed to add uh, length, volume, and curl, all three, so triple effect. If this works, it'll be great. And it, like I said before, it has this really interesting, almost naturally natural um, mascara wand up until the end, and then it's like a little ball. So we're going to try this out and just go in here and see what happens. I did not, I purposely did not use any liner on my top lashes. I did smudge a little of the darkest shade in that um, Pretty Vulgar palette underneath just to kind of tie the whole look in together. So, but I didn't do it on the top so that you guys could see what goes on with the lashes. So I do, right off the bat, I think that this is pretty substantial mascara. It goes on, it separates the lashes, it's not clumpy or chunky, it's just pretty straightforward, but I don't know, hopefully you guys can see the difference in my left eye versus my right eye as far as lashes go. It is pretty, pretty good, I like. And the little ball on the bottom makes it much easier to go in and kind of you do have like lashes that kind of clump together. The little ball on the end makes it really easy just to kind of whoo, separate those really quick. Go and down to bottom lashes. Again, I almost naturally just go straight to the little ball at the bottom because it really makes it easy to separate out those bottom lashes. Okay, so the last bit of this review new products is the NYC City Proof Long Lasting Blur Lip Color. I do have um, five of the shades. There's ten total, so I didn't want to pick them all up in case I hated them. These are, let's see if I can figure out a price point for these, um, on, they're $4.99, so I think I picked them up for about that price, but Still, under five bucks for a good lipstick, I am down for. So I'm gonna run through these shades that I do have. I have the color Pink City. Oh, it is a twist, okay. So, here we go, Pink City right there. It's a pretty bright pink color. And then, this is the shade 203, this is Rose Island. Oh, that's pretty. So, right there. And I do, I realize that these are twist off, so it's not pulled, so these aren't going to come off really easy and dry out. They're actually a twisty kind of thing, so be aware of that. And then this color is 400. This is Manhattan Mauve. There we go. Let's see. 
And then this is the color 401, 401. This is Riverside City. That's a very Barbie pink. Very bright fuchsia pink. And then my last shade is the shade 402. This is Central City Plum. Wait, right? Central Park Plum, sorry. I think I will use that color. So there's the last one. <clears throat> All right, so the premise of these is that you're supposed to be able to put this on um, in the center of your lips and then you use this little blur sponge on the back to blend it out to kind of give you an ombre-ish effect. We're gonna see if that works. I'm gonna try this and wear it all day and see what happens. I am gonna use the color 402, the darker shade, which is Central Park Plum. So here we go. So right off the bat, it is a little stiff, I think. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of the stiffness of this lip product. And then we're supposed to just take this Alright, um, not sure how I feel about this. It is a little drying, I can tell you right off the bat. My lips feel a little, um, dehydrated. Um, but the color is really pretty. I really do like this color. I think that it is pretty gorgeous. So yeah, it's almost like a lip pencil, more so than a lipstick. So it's a little strange as far as texture goes. It's a little difficult to get onto the lips as opposed to a lipstick where you just go whoop, whoop, and we're good to go. This is very much like a lip pencil more so than a lipstick. So when you put it on, it is a little stiff. You gotta kinda put it on there. I wish it was a little more creamy, a little more um, slide on, but it seems to be on my lips. Let's do a quick napkin test. So it does come off, I don't know if you guys can see, a little bit, but not a lot. So that's doable. We are, I'm going to breakfast right now with the hubs, and we will test it out, and I'll let you guys know. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray down with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. Well done. All right, so that's it. It's all done. Makeup is on. It is... 912 is what my clock says on my phone so I will check in in a couple hours and let you know how the foundation's doing how the liners or not liner how the mascara is doing and whether or not the slip color stays on we are going to go have some breakfast and then we're going to do some like grocery shopping errands kind of stuff and yeah I will check back in and let you guys know all right see you in a bit Okay, so we are in the car. We just had breakfast and we're just kind of doing a quick check-in on what's going on with the makeup situation. I'm not crazy about this foundation. I feel like it looks a little chunky, but can we see the lipstick real quick? I mean, it needs a touch up, right? That's what I think. But I did eat like a crazy person and I didn't really worry about my lipstick too much. Overall, I don't think it's necessarily bad. What do you think? I don't think it looks bad. You definitely need a touch up. Though. Definitely need a touch up. All right, so we'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, so it's now 120 is what my Fitbit says. So it's been about 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 4 hours. And you can tell that my makeup is not good today. So my face is getting really, really shiny. This is natural lighting too, so you can tell that like we are pretty patchy right in here. And it's really, really starting to um, like, I don't know. Like you can really see texture between my eyebrows. And I'm really shiny even like my highlight is gone. My blush is gone, and those are, I used highlights and blushes that I normally use on a regular basis, so it's not that, it's the foundation, I think. So, not a big fan. I'm probably gonna go take a nap because it's Sunday and because I can. Um, and, uh, yeah, obviously the lip color is gone. I didn't want, feel like putting it back on, so, yeah. I'll let you guys know what I thought of everything on uh, my last um, check-in before I go to bed, um, but I'm thinking probably not on this foundation. Wah, wah. Sad story, but all right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. It's the end of the day. It is um, almost eight o'clock now here, and I'm about to call it a wrap, take my makeup off, maybe do a face mask, 
so I thought I would get on here and kind of wrap up this review. So with the several products that I tried today, I do not like this City Proof 10 Hour Matte Foundation. I just don't think, I mean, it's pretty much gone. Like, especially right here on my cheeks area, it's gone. Um, all along my jaw area it's pretty much gone it has bunched right here on my eyebrows so it's really when you look closely at my face you can really see that I'm wearing makeup and that's just not a good look for anybody so I'm gonna say pass on this it you can't I don't feel like you can skimp on foundation that's like the one thing that you should not skimp on you can skimp on blush and even like lipstick or eyeshadow because you can always reapply but with foundation, you put that on and then you put all of your stuff on top of it. There's nothing you can do. It's not like you can really touch up foundation, really. If you powder, you use a liquid foundation, first of all, and then you powder on top, add your blush, your shadows, your bronzers, all of that, you're not going to be able to touch it up. So I say spend an extra 4 or $5 and get something better. Um... CoverGirl has some really good foundations right now, as well as um, anything I, you guys know I love Smashbox, it's a little more expensive, I love Tarte foundations, um, I love Urban Decay foundations, if you want to go higher in. I say spend your money on your foundation and your skincare, and then if you are on a budget, do budget friendly lipsticks, shadows, blushes even, so that you can always reapply those, you know, on top. So yeah, I say pass on this. I do really, really enjoy the No Problem or No Problem primer from Touch and Soul. I do think that it is on par pretty much with the Professional from Benefit. So if you're looking to try something different, this is a great, great primer. Um, as far as the City Proof Matte Long Lasting Lip Long Lasting Lipwear, I think these are. I'm like kind of on the fence. I would probably wear them again, but they kind of dried down my lips and I kept thinking I need to put chapstick on. I need to put chapstick on. Like that was kind of my thought. But if you don't eat um, or you're not eating, they do have really good color payoff. I kind of think that the sponge idea is really interesting. I'm not sure um, it's necessary really. I guess if you really want that ombre effect, you could really achieve that with these. I think the colors are really pretty. I think that for, I think they're like $4. That's not a bad price. I'm not, I mean, the sponge is kind of gimmicky, but if you're looking for something that's completely matte, that's going to stay for a while as long as you don't eat, then these are actually decent. The color payoff is really, really good. Um, as far as the Wet n Wild Lash Run Again. I really enjoy this. My lashes, I think, look really good. I think for natural days, this is going to be a winner. I don't think if you want big va va voom lashes or you're going to put lashes on top that, or you're going to put falsies on top, that this is necessarily the right mascara. I would do the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is really good. The CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara is my all-time favorite. There are just a lot of other options, both high-end and low-end, or not low-end, high-end and drugstore, that are better if you want to go full glam. If you're doing, like, everyday work makeup, I will wear this. So I'm going to keep using it. I think it's a really good, more natural-looking eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, a mascara. Um, what else did I try? I think that's it. Um, the glow set, the glam glow glow setter. I enjoy it. I think it's really good. It obviously did not do much with this situation today just because I don't think the foundation was good enough to stay. The staying power of the foundation was not maximized by the setting powder or setting spray, but I do enjoy it. I love the smell of it. The sprayer is so, so, so good. I think that I'll continue to use it. And I guess that's it. Um, I think that's all I tried. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for sticking through this video. I know it's a little long, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy this video, if you like the kind of check-in review kind of setup that I did today, which is a little different than what I normally do, then give this video a thumbs up, and I will continue to do more. Give me a com or leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And do you like these products? Have you tried them? Are there other new products that you want me to try and test out? Just let me know. 
Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if nothing else, hopefully I gave you at least five or ten minutes of some stress relief or took your mind off whatever it is you're dealing with in your life. And I hope you guys have a wonderfully positive day. Happy Fourth of July, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.